Good morning, Card Beauty. It's RJ. Time for the Sunday Trivia Recap. Hooray! Sorry, I don't do sound effects, so I don't have a, one of those applause and meters in the background or anything like that. So, um, so uh, before we get to the uh, trivia contest, re trivia challenge recap for the week, I want to remind everybody this is the last week you have coming up to enter my uh, contest, my VR contest, f to celebrate my 200 subscribers. And to remind everybody, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I have 32 uh, entries. Let me put up here. These, This is the list. Let me zoom in so you can all see it. This is the list of individuals I have so far that have submitted a VR that I have found. And I do a search daily looking for, you know, RJ collects 200 or VR or something like that, trying to find people in case they don't tell me. Um, this is the name I have so far. These are the names, 32 of them. So if you're on this list, you're officially entered. If you know you have done a video, but you're not seeing yourself on this list, you need to email me and I'll put my email in the, the comments below there, the description below. So if you don't see your name there, you need to email me. Um, let me know you put a video out so I can go check it out. Or again, you don't need to put a video out. You can just leave a comment, um, under the video announcement of the contest, and I'll put a link to that in there. You can just put your list uh, in there. Again, I'm looking for your, pick your favorite team of any sport and tell me your all-time favorite lineup, if possible. If not, just give me 10 card, 10, 10, 10 players, 10 people who made up that sport, a great team of that sport. Because I did have, I had one person do wrestling and had another person do NASCAR. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's possible to just show me 10 great individuals from those sports, uh, if need be. So that's what I'm looking for. Um, I'll include the, uh, a link to the video announcement below along with my email and to remind you again what the prizes are. <clears throat> I have first prize, all six tins from this year's tops 2021 project or I should say last year's, I suppose, Tops 2021 uh, regular you know, base flagship set uh, filled with cards. Um, each one uh, specializes in either veteran rookies or Hall of Famers. So there's two each of veterans, rookies, and Hall of Famers, along with at least one autograph, one relic, and one card numbered to 99 within each of the six tins. That's first prize. Second prize is a single box little thing here that contains the same thing. A uh, nice stack of rookies, veterans, and Hall of Famers, along with one Hall of uh, one numbered card to 99 or less, one relic card, and one autograph card. Third prize, if you think those are pretty cool, even third prize is pretty awesome. Um, so for third prize, I have four cards, one each numbered less than 99 of an autograph, a relic, and a, a standard card. So, for example, the standard card is this here, Jackie Bradley Jr., numbered out of uh, 99. It's like the throwback style. The feel is a little different. The logo is a little different. This is from 2018. The relic card is from Topps Museum Collection 2020, uh, numbered out of 99, a quad relic of George Springer, and the autograph was from Topps 2020 Museum Collection, Kyle Lewis rookie card, on card auto, 20 out of 25. And then lastly, for the third place winner still, I figured I'd throw one card in that had it all. It was numbered to 99 or less, it is a relic card, and it is an auto card. And I have here, from Inception, an autographed relic card of Alex Young, rookie card, numbered, like I said, to 90. This one's uh, 14 of 90. So those are the prizes for my uh, 200 subscriber contest. Um, right now I'm at 32 names. Let me zoom in again. You can see there I got 32 names up there. Uh, would love to get to 50, but frankly, I'm ecstatic to get to 32 because when I did my uh, 50 and my 100, 
I got 10 names a piece for entering those. But, they, you know, I only had 50 at one time. I only had 100 at the other. So, But to get to 32 for this one makes me very happy. So thanks for everybody for, for uh, joining in. Tell your friends. I know I got a lot of new subscribers uh, because of this contest. And, you know, just people spreading the word. You're, you're watching... You're doing an upload to my video, but you're telling all your friends, and some of those friends learn about me. So I appreciate all the hobby love as we all do. So, all right, so that's that. So now moving on, we're going to do the trivia recap. So here we go. This is Monday's list of people. Uh, Monday's question was Name for me the first National League player to win back to back MVP awards. Uh, a lot of people guess. Uh, not a lot of people, but a couple of people guessed Joe Morgan. And it was interesting. The, I asked that question on January 31st, which was Ernie Banks' birthday. And the prize is an Ernie Banks card uh, this year, well, last year's, the 2021 um, Silver Pack Redemption, um, 86 style Ernie Banks card. And um, the answer is actually Ernie Banks. So I was trying to keep it in the family, so to speak. So everything was Ernie Banks that day. And uh, a lot of people got it, got the uh, irony of it all. But for, like I said, for some reason, a couple of you guessed Ernie Banks I mean, from Joe Morgan, and that was not the answer. So, <clears throat> all right. So the way I do this, if you recall, is I like to make, draw it out a little bit. So I'm looking for, you know, we only got like, what, seven people here who got it right. So we're going to spin this sucker, and we're going to do it three times. We're going to do it until somebody hits three times. So I'm going to shuffle once. Boom. And then after I shuffle once, I'm going to spin. And until somebody wins, when the first person to get three times wins the card. We're, we're trying to find out who's going to win this cool Ernie Banks card. All right, here we go. All right. Oh. I'm tired this morning, but can I tell you it's early for me? All right, let's see Shaw Racing gets a hit. Count one, and you'll see up there, there's one for Shaw. I went on a bit of an eBay spending spree recently, so don't tell the wife, but I did. Jeremy Michaels with a hit. The great thing about me going on an eBay spending spree is that eventually I'll have to showcase everything I bought, so it'll be fun for you guys, I suppose. <laughs> oh, Shaw, come on now. I count another one for Shaw. I might have to start like a, <clears throat> a a thing where you can only do once a month. I thought about that, but the problem is with only seven people on average entering my contest, Lee H, I do not know who Lee H is in the YouTube community. I don't know. If he's got a YouTube channel, that was just the name that came across on my, uh, uh, what do I want to say? It came across on the, um, nailed it. The email address just said uh, Lee H. So I don't know if he has a channel. Lee, if you're out there, if you want to be, I like to put down the YouTube channel names so that if, uh, you, if anybody knows who Lee H is, let them know. Adam's Card Closet with a hit. Well done. No, but I was saying I, uh, I went on a bit of a spending spree because there was a certain card I had two of the parallel versions were, and I saw that a lot of the other parallel versions were up there. Don't talk to robots with a hit. This is what I'm talking about now. We almost have everybody here. Keith over at Celtic Pride, you're the lone guy that the picker wheel isn't loving, showing some love to today. So I, like, I do like to spread the wealth around with this kind of a contest. There, Robots gets another one. But there was that um, card I have two of the parallels, and I and all of a sudden a whole bunch of the other parallels were up for grabs. Now they were those leaf lumber relic cards. Adam Card Pods with a second hit. Those leaf lumber relic cards that I love to death. <clears throat> so I'm paying like, you know, 35, 50, something like that a piece. And I actually snagged four. There's Keith gets in there. So look at that. This is what I'm talking about now. Now everybody has at least one hit for to win this cool Ernie Banks card. Let's go, guys. As Sticks G would say, let's go. So. <clears throat> Where's 
that, Adam? I think that's free for Adam. Let me see. Yes, it is. All right, so congrats on Adam. Adam, I know you're a Braves fan and all, but you are the individual who will uh, be receiving this cool Ernie Banks uh, Silver Pack Redemption card, all right? All right, so Adam has won. We're moving on to Wednesday's grouping. Adam, you are ineligible now for Wednesday, so we take your name off the list. And that's the individuals who remain for Wednesday's giveaway. Wednesday, the prize was this here Fernando Tatis Jr. card. It's from Big League back in 2019, I believe. It says flipping out. It's like a bat flip thing, and celebrating how the, the way these guys flip their bats. Might be 2020. I think it's 20, yes, 2019, yeah. So the question was, who is the only uh, big leaguer to hit two grand slams in the same inning? And believe it or not, it was Fernando Tatis Senior. He did it um, a while ago, and I thought that was another cool way to ask a trivia question and give a prize out when it had it was related to the same individual. So there you go. All right, so again, we shuffle once, and then we spin. And you got to hit three times again, so... <clears throat> Oh, I'm very excited about the trivia contest. Like I said, 32 names so far is pretty awesome. That's Line TV with a hit. Count one. Yeah, I only had 10. When I did my 50 subscriber and 100 subscriber, I only got 10 entries. Which, yeah, I, I was new to the channel, so it doesn't surprise me at all. There you go, Keith. Give you a hit, champ. Took you a long time just to get one hit last time, sir been going through all my cards and putting things away organizing cards I'm kind of like Chris Sewell there I love it I actually love nail it with a shot I actually love um, organizing cards sitting here for hours on end going through it the wife doesn't like it so much she wants me to be around doing things for her but I enjoy sitting around organizing cards what can I tell you nailed it with two already out the gate <clears throat> so, up! Oh, look at that three in a row for nailed it. So, nailed it, Jeff G, with three in a row. There you go, sir. All right, moving on to Friday. So, nailed it is out. Adam's card closet is out. We are down to yet again seven which is fine by me. Friday's question was, what team originally signed David Ortiz? And if you get the win today, you get this David Ortiz card from this year's Topps Archives base. Nice cool homage to this year's uh, lone Hall of Fame recipient uh, by the Writers Association. I should say there were six who got in through the Veterans Committee. So let's shuffle the uh, deck here once and spin away. Let's get three. I don't know about you guys, but I was happy that Clemens and Bonds didn't get in. I really was. I was a little sad that Schilling got in, but, you know, <clears throat> Schilling suffers from the foot and mouth disease. Um, regardless of what you think of his comments, time and place, sir, time and place. And uh, the writers didn't appreciate it. I think that's wrong. I don't think it can have anything to do with his selection to the Hall of Fame. But the writers felt differently. So Schilling was out. But I'm happy that Ortiz got in. I think Ortiz is highly deserving of Hall of Fame induction. Just look at this. Keith over at Celtic Pride gets two already. Everybody else is getting shut out today. That just ain't right. Come on now. What do we got today? Poor man stack. It's just oh, it's a, it's a two-person ship. It's a two-person race here, guys. Poor man stack versus Celtic Pride. One, two, three, four. I see how it's going. I see how it's going. Somebody came in here and rigged the vote. I'll tell you. There was a new one. We got Shaw in there with. <laughs> 
I was happy. Uh, I was happy. Jim Cott got in. Jim Cott was a one-time Philly, so that was nice. Um, I'm kind of glad Buck O'Neill got in because he did have a lot of good uh, contributions to baseball. Uh, Minnie Minosa, I don't understand. I just I don't get that. Um, Bud Fowler is kind of cool. He's an old Negro League player, um, so I kind of get that one. Shaw racing again. He's getting two in a row. Okay. Tony Oliva was on the border. He was like one of those Hall of Very Good. So, you know, yeah, you're nay. I, I don't have an, an overall um, feeling about that one way or the other. Alan Morikow. I don't know who Alan is. That's the name that came on the uh, email. So, Alan, if you're out there and if you want me to refer to you <coughs> by your YouTube channel name, let me know what that is, okay, sir? Put it in the email below. Jeremy Michaels with a hit. Who else, was, who else got in? Um, there was one other guy got in. Gil Hodges. Gil Hodges is another one. I. Oops, here you go. Keith at Southern Pride gets the last hit. So Keith, Keith, you're going to be the one getting the David Ortiz. I was saying, Gil Hodges is another one. Where he hasn't gotten in for so long. I didn't think he should get in. But he, I've seen enough biographies about him now. That I'm not upset that he got in, you know, Phil Rizzuto, Gil Hodges, a lot of people on the board like that. What are you going to do? So anyway, there you go. That is the trivia recap for today, or the trivia recap for today. Those are the prize winners. Uh, don't forget, uh, these are the individuals who are currently on my list for the contest. Um, be great to get to 50. I don't think I'm going to get to 50. You know, there's one week left and I'd, I'd need, I would need 18 new additions. And, uh, you know, I'm not averaging 18 a week at all. So, and it's getting kind of late in the day. So it's interesting that the, uh, the giveaway is on Super Bowl Sunday. I didn't plan it that way. You know, I'm a baseball fan. I'll watch the Super Bowl typically, but I am not somebody who, um, you know, goes crazy about um, football, so uh, usually I go over to a friend's house, but I won't be able to this year, so anyway, I didn't mean it to be on Super Bowl Sunday, but it will be. I'll do the trivia recap that morning along with the giveaway. Uh, I've been thinking about ways to do the giveaway. We'll talk more about that next week. Anyway, uh, thanks for stopping by for the trivia recap. More trivia questions next week, this coming week, so please tune in. Uh, get a chance to win some cool cards. Thanks for watching my channel. Please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, all that jazz. Uh, we all love supporting each other in a car community, and I appreciate your support. Take care.